So guys, I have simply opened the Photoshop, right? Now here are three ways to create new document, right? So the way number one is to go to the file and click on new. So that's the way number one. And the second way is to click on the file and here you will see the shortcut control plus n and now i will just press control plus n so you can see the new document panel again right so i will just close it again and the third way is to click on create new once i click on create new then the same document will be open so these were the three ways right so now you will see the whole setup of photoshop new document 2022 okay like in photos you will see the by default settings like by default sizes and in prints you will see by default other sizes and just like this art and illustration right and click on web mobile film and movies so these all are by default sizes like sometimes if you don't have net or you maybe you don't know what are the sizes or right so you can use these sizes okay so now I will simply go to the recent panel, right? These are the settings or the sizes which I have used in my previous projects, right? So by default, I have given the size of social media post. So what is that? As you can see, the Instagram posts, right? So they are the social media post designs, right? So before that, I have to say something like what is width and what is height. So the horizontal area, like a landscape that is width and the vertical area like a taller document right like, like a tall document right so that is height simply that is so simple okay and now how you want to create it like let's suppose I'm entering the value 550 and 370 it's the height it's the size of fiber thumbnail right so now from here you can rename it right like let's suppose i'm gonna rename it to fiber thumbnail that's enough right and after that you will see the pixel button right so by default it is selected by pixels and now i will tell you what is pixel and what are inches so guys at first that is so simple nothing is there right like what is pixel like what is pixel pixels are used for all these documents that we are going to upload are gonna save with ourselves but what are inches inches are those which we are gonna print right like on t-shirt like a business card or maybe a banner on a shop right so these are the examples like pixel will be created for all those documents or for all those photos which are for uploading or maybe saving in our computer and inches are specifically used for printing so guys i will click on pixel and you know what that pixels are by default setting right like i i'm creating this fiber thumbnail right which is for uploading not for printing so that's why i will use what pixel and now let's suppose if you just get hesitated or you went a little wrong like how you want your width to be 370 and your height to be 50, 550 550 but you don't know how to change it right and let's suppose from here you will see that is it a horizontal document or it is a vertical document okay so you from where you will see it you will see it from orientation like you can change it by clicking here and there right there's the vertical orientation and that is the horizontal orientation let's suppose create it that is so simple so guys that is a vertical document now i will click on control n and the same thing but i will just click on this one right so now create it it will be nothing more there is nothing more okay it is horizontal document so now i will click on creative so what was just the thing that was the height or one 
I mean the vertical one and the horizontal one, which means the landscape one. Okay, so that's enough. And after that, we let's move toward the resolution. So what is resolution? Basically, I will discuss it in my next video. But the short example is it has the size, right? The quality. That is called resolution. Nothing more. Or maybe if you want to learn, so you can come with me. Then I will teach you next tutorial. Okay. So after that, by default, in Photoshop 7.0 nowadays no one is using that but by default on those Photoshop or maybe in CS6 Photoshop the 72 is the resolution by default by default okay but after that there are also some of the types of Photoshop which are having the 150 so that is the resolution but what you have to do that is so important for you if you want the better quality you have to write the 300 okay so you don't have to worry about it and now let's move toward the pixel and inches right again here is the same thing as i discussed right like now i will just show you how it is important right if you don't know like what is inches and what are pixels but you have given your size and you want your design to be printed and you can see by default that is pixels right and you don't know and after that you go for printing and it doesn't work so then what will be happen but the photoshop 2022 i think the photoshop 2020 and 21 and also 2022 these three versions are having this panel pixels and inches so it means it is in both side it is if you want to upload so it is in pixels if you want to print so that is in inches okay so it next tutorial i will discuss the pixel centimeter if you want so tell me in the comment right and after that what is rgb and cmyk these two are the types of color right rgb red green blue and cmyk cyan magenta this kind of things right so what are these and why this is important I don't have to discuss it more further because it will take a tutorial right but before that I will just tell you RGB you just have to compare it with pixels and CMYK you just have to compare it with inches now you will see what does it mean right RGB means like if you want to upload right and what is CMYK which means which you are gonna print okay that is simple nothing more so that's the difference and guys i will tell you this button like a checkbox as you can see that is so important also like for example i'm gonna make a business card right so business cards are having two sides the front one and the back one right sometime we are having the brochures or flyers they are having both sides front side flyer uh, back side flyer banners online shops these kind of things right but if you want your design to be in two artboards or more than two whatever how much you want you can do it right like let's suppose if i don't check it and click on create new so here you can see you can't make another artboard with alt key because you will just see how it will work only single document has been selected now i will just click on Control plus n right for creating new document again and just i will simply click on this check mark and i will click on it right after that i will just click on create once you create it now you will see the artboard number one right so just minimize your page and with alt key drag it toward the right side now minimize it more again with alt key drag it toward the right side and these are the artboards which are really important for your multiple project you don't have to create it again and again the same size the same process you just have to copy it nothing more okay so guys after that the another thing is the custom color white color by default that is selected white but I was just doing practice before 
sometime right so that's why i converted it to custom right by default that is white as you can see my other documents also so now what you have to do if you want your artboard color to be white then it's okay and if you want it to be in you know, a transparent or something else so you can select it from here like by default color is white then another option is to click on black so your document color will be black nothing more okay and after that background color if you want to give the custom color let's suppose let's try for it now the background color is black and just click on create here is the simple thing now just simply click on the create new button control in right and what you have to do now i'm just setting it to transparent now what does it mean what does transparent mean transparent means like you want your object without background like if i'm sitting here so you want me without my background so it means i will be then your png i will be your transparent image okay so that is simple if you want to draw your photo or maybe if you want to write something and you just want it to save but without background so you have to click on transparent nothing more okay and i will just click on create new and the last option is custom color so custom color you will select the custom color like let's suppose i'm going to select like a purple so that's enough click on okay and create new so now my artboard color is purple right so guys i think these are enough let's suppose and these are by default setting you don't have to even touch it right but the last thing and the one of the important thing of the photoshop right like let's suppose you have done a lot of work on this artboard right and you want to change the size how it can be possible here are two ways by shortcut and by that option right at first i will do it by shortcut control alt i that is the shortcut so then you can change it from here right and the another thing is to go to the image and click on image size and you will also see the shortcut in front of that alt control plus alt i yeah so from here, so from here you can also change the resolution whatever you want to change like a inches uh, you want it to be converted to pixels and simply click on okay nothing more 